Welcome to today's pronunciation or phonics lesson. Today is a beginner lesson, but really with pronunciation you can be any level. Today we're going to learn about the magic E. The magic E changes the sounds of vowels. In English there are five vowels. A, E, I, O and U. And these vowels can have two sounds. A short sound and a long sound. The short sound is actually a little bit harder to remember because it's very different from the name. A, E, I, O, U is A, E, I, O, A. A as in apple, America. E as in egg, elephant. I as in in, igloo. O as in orange, on, a, uh, as in up, umbrella. Now sometimes people have a problem with a and u because the sound is very similar. A, uh, a, uh. a, uh, a. Uh. The a is more like the sound you'd make if you went to the dentist and they said, open your mouth, ah, uh, or if you were scared, ah. Uh. For you, just think of the word up. Uh, uh. The long sounds for the vowels, A, E, I, O, U, is easier to remember because it's very similar to the name. For example, the long sound for A is A. The long sound for E is E. The long sound for I is I. The long sound for O, O. And the long sound for U, U. So actually it's easier to remember the long sounds. Now, here's where the magic E comes in. Let's look at some short words. We'll start with A. M-A-T, M-A-T, mat. So the sound here is the short sound, A, mat. But if we add an E to the end of the word, we now have uh, a letter E. So A and then a consonant and then E. The sound now becomes the long sound. We don't pronounce the E. We don't say Matty. We just change the A uh sound to the long sound. So M-A-T-E is not mat but mate. The A sound. Mate. The same happens with all the vowels. Let's look at E. Uh, we could use the word pet. P-E-T. P-E-T. Pet. So here we have the short sound, E. Eh. But if we put an E on the end, we now will need to use the long sound of E, which is E. Peat. Peat, which is a name, an English name. Now let's look at I. The short sound, W-I-N, W-I-N, win. I win. If we now add the E to the end of win, we need to make the I, not I, but the long sound, I. So win becomes wine, wine. Now let's look at O. If we have the word not, N-O-T, N-O-T, that's the short sound, O, oh, not. Now again, we put the E on the end and the O oh becomes the long sound, O, oh, not becomes note, note. And again with the U, a short word, C-U-T. Cut, k a t, cut. If we put e on the end, we now need to pronounce the long sound of the u, which is u, and cut becomes cute, cute. So that's the rule. If you have one vowel and then a consonant and then the letter e, you don't pronounce the e, but the the vowel before the consonant 
is pronounced in the long way, not the short way. Let's practice some together. Plan, plan. Plain, plain. Hat, hat. Hate, hate. Can, can. Cane, cane. Fat, fat. Fate, fate. Cap, cap. Cape, cape. Tap, tap. Tape, tape. Some short words. Hit, sit. Long sound. Bike, like, short sound with O, cot, hot, cop. Some long sounds, bone, stone, phone, U sound, mutt, mutt, mute, mute, flute, short words with E. Ten, bed, net, some of the long sounds with E, these, eve, evening, complete. Now let's practice some sentences. In these sentences there will be some of the short sounds and some of the long sounds mixed together. So I'll say it first, then you have a go and then we'll say it together. Kate hates the red hat, but she loves the green one. Your go. And together, Kate hates the red hat, but she loves the green one. Very good, okay. Now the next sentence. Tom has got 10 pens and five rulers. Your turn. Now together, Tom has got 10 pens and five rulers. Very good, okay. Now the next sentence. Ben likes his bike, he rides it every day. Your turn. And together, Ben likes his bike, he rides it every day. Lynn loves to sing songs all day long. She can also play the flute. Over to you. And together, Lynn loves to sing songs all day long. She can also play the flute. Okay, well done. He stole lots of cod and hid them down a hole. Your turn. And together, he stole lots of cod and hid them down a hole. Okay, very good. Bill was ill, so he ate some ice cream to make him feel better. Your turn. And together, Bill was ill, so he ate some ice cream to make him feel better. Okay, now our last one. Pat was late, so she had no plate when she sat down for dinner. Your turn. And together. Pat was late, so she had no plate when she sat down for dinner. So let's do the short sound again. A, E, I, O, A. And the long sound, A, E, I, O, U the same as the name of the letter. There are some exceptions to the rule. In English, most of the time the rules fit about 80%, but there are always some words that don't fit the rule. For example, E-L-E. -E. If you see E-L-E, -E, we don't pronounce it eel. Eel. It's actually pronounced Eli, as in Elephant, electricity, elevator, television. 
that's it for today's pronunciation lesson. Remember to comment below, let us know any uh, particular subject you, that you'd like to study and uh, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any lessons and remember to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you for joining me on today's lesson and I'll see you next time.